Hi friends, welcome to Bone Doctor. Today, our topic of discussion is hypertension. That means high blood pressure. First of all, we have to understand what do we mean by blood pressure. It is a pressure in the arteries of our bodies of the blood which flows through the arteries. Now what are the types of blood pressure or how we, do you rather describe or say our blood pressure? We say our blood pressure in two parts that is we tell it it is 120 millimeter of mercury by 80 millimeter of mercury. What do we mean by it? The higher value depicts the systolic blood pressure of the patient and the lower value depicts the diastolic blood pressure of the patient. What is systolic blood pressure? Systolic blood pressure is the pressure in the arteries when the heart is in the phase of systole. That is when the ventricles of our heart contract, especially the left ventricle, it pumps the blood from the heart to the peripheral arteries. It is during this time the pressure which is maximum. This is known as the systolic blood pressure. Gradually the pressure decreases and the heart goes into the phase of diastole that is ventricular diastole. When the heart goes into the ventricular diastole the pressure is maintained at a lower pressure. That pressure is known as the diastolic blood pressure. Now let us understand what is normal blood pressure. Normally the blood pressure remains around 120 by 80. That is the systolic blood pressure remains around 120 and the diastolic blood pressure remains around 80 millimeter of mercury. So what is the range when we call the blood pressure to be too high or when we call the blood pressure to be too low? When the blood pressure goes beyond 140 by 90, that is the systolic blood pressure increases beyond 140 millimeter of mercury and the diastolic blood pressure increases beyond 90 millimeter of mercury, we call it high blood pressure and when the blood pressure goes below 90 millimeter of systolic blood pressure or 60 millimeter of diastolic blood pressure, we call the blood pressure to be low blood pressure. Today's topic is discussing about high blood pressure. So what are the stages of hypertension? In the first stage or pre-hypertensive stage, the blood pressure is around 130 to 139 systolic blood pressure and the diastolic blood pressure is between 80 to 89 millimeter of mercury. This is a stage of pre-hypertension or stage 1 where the patient doesn't need any medications, lifestyle modifications that is exercise, diet and a good sleep can bring back the patient to normal blood pressure. Then comes a stage 2 that is the hypertensive stage. In this the patients have a blood pressure beyond 140 by 90 that is 140 systolic blood pressure and 90 diastolic blood pressure. When a patient has such high blood pressure we usually prescribe medications to control his blood pressure because usually such high blood pressure cannot be controlled without medications. And last stage, the stage 3, that is a stage of hypertensive crisis. In this, the blood pressure goes beyond 180 by 120. That is, the systolic blood pressure has crossed the mark of 180 millimeter of mercury and or the diastolic blood pressure has crossed the mark of 120 millimeter of mercury. This is a hypertensive crisis. In this case, if we detect any patient who is suffering from such high blood pressure, we try to immediately hospitalize the patient and treat him through intravenous drugs because 
such blood pressure can cause an immediate brain stroke or a cardiac attack that is ischemic attack this is an emergency now let us discuss what are the causes of hypertension and let us classify hypertension based on its causes first of all is a primary or essential hypertension this is the type of hypertension in which most of the people suffer in this type of hypertension there is no exact cause which can be outlined as a cause of hypertension mostly these patients have a familial history of hypertension or they are genetically predisposed to have hypertension furthermore these patients suffer either from obesity excess body weight which causes hypertension they add or take excess salt in their diet which can cause hypertension excess consumption of alcohol or excess smoking causes essential hypertension and if a person suffers from stress related disorders suffers from anxiety and has insomnia sleep related disorders these people can suffer from essential hypertension now coming to the second type that is secondary hypertension these patients have underlying diseases in their body and due to the presence of such diseases the patients suffer from hypertension so this type of hypertension is called secondary hypertension what are the diseases which may cause secondary hypertension first of all are kidney diseases if the patient suffer from renal diseases chronic renal failure etc the patient can suffer from hypertension if a patient suffer from adrenal tumors adrenal tumors can lead to hypertension if a patient suffers from hyperthyroidism or hypothyroidism the patient can have hypertension if the patient suffers from sleep apnea syndrome that is we have seen many people mostly obese people suffer from snoring during their sleeping this snoring is caused due to blockage of airway during sleep these patients can suffer from secondary hypertension few medicines if they are regularly consumed can cause hypertension such as brufen phenylephrine these medicines if consumed for other reasons can cause secondary hypertension there are some other types of hypertension also for example white coat hypertension that is the patient is normally having a normal blood pressure but seeing a doctor or when he or she visits a doctor seeing him the blood pressure rises this is a very typical phenomena and this is known as white coat hypertension there may be cases of resistant hypertension in which the patient's blood pressure cannot be controlled even after prescribing three or more antihypertensive medications and there may be cases of malignant hypertension in which the diastolic blood pressure has gone beyond 130 mm of mercury which is a hypertensive emergency so these are the main types of hypertension which we come across now coming to the most important part of the video that is how will you understand that you are suffering from hypertension first of all if there is hypertension then you may suffer from excess of headache and headache which occurs off and on and is not well or cured by normal painkiller medications the headache is a throbbing type of headache and is very severe you may incur 
vision problems that is you may have blurry visions and there would be difficulty in focusing or seeing things clearly you may suffer from bleeding bleeding from nose epistaxis is one of the most common cause or symptoms of hypertension you may not have any injury to the nose but you may suddenly see the blood trickling down your nose you may experience bleeding or blood in your urine there may be sudden amount of or bouts of palpitation or you may feel that your heart is pounding like hell or you may have irregular heartbeats these are the most common symptoms of hypertension there are few uncommon ones also such as excess sweating dizziness lack of sleep insomnia and excess anxiety if you are suffering from such symptoms you should immediately consult the doctor for you may suffer from hypertension hypertension if diagnosed early can be treated very well with one or two medications and you may lead healthy life for rest of your life but if hypertension goes undetected and if a patient suffers from hypertension for a long period of time hypertension due to excess blood pressure in the arteries for a prolonged period of time can cause organ damages which is organs it may affect the brain it may affect the heart it may affect the kidneys and other organs thus leading to brain function disorders heart ischemias and renal failures so it is very important to detect hypertension early and treat it accordingly so this was all about hypertension hope you have enjoyed the video give a like and do subscribe to my channel for further such videos bye bye for now take care